hi guys welcome back to my channel so i just got back home from making my hair i just went to make normal all back something that i can always like you know take off my wig if i don't feel like wearing a wig like i've told you people before in my past video like the weather is really hot so i just want something that even if i don't wear a wig it's still okay because and apart from that so there's nothing as embarrassing as taking off your wig and then your cornrows under your hair is looking so ghetto like i don't like that feeling so i just came back and she was pretty fast actually she was really really fast which is really shocking because on the normal day she would take her time but i think she was also rushing to go home so this is the all back i need this is the first time i'm making this my all back this small but i like it so hopefully i'll carry this hair long enough and also okay, let me show you guys something so the lady that made my hair gave me this pillow i don't know if you guys can see it yeah she gave me well, okay she gave me this pillow and shout out to your motif for giving me this pillow so what i actually want to use the pillow for is to but obviously i need to wash it so I'm going to wash it and do all the necessary things to disinfect the pillow. I plan on taking it to the office because I noticed that the chair in the office is the chair in the office is low-key giving me back pain. Like normally, the normal human being, if you're sitting down, your back needs to be like straight. But now the chair is kind of like bending back. So I'm always forced to like lean back sometimes and it's just giving me back pain to be honest so i'll use this pillow to like support my back i work so i really really appreciate this pillow that she gave to me so now i just want to shower and then hopefully get something to eat because i ate in the, at the office and that was like hours ago so that's just what i want to do for this night and i also need to edit videos as well so Let's see how the night goes. And yeah, let's see how the night goes. I'll pick the camera up much later.
good morning. I finally dragged my father out of bed. Ooh, like usually, okay, today is Saturday, by the way, and usually I would go and work out earlier than now. But I slept very, very late last night. If I won't say I slept last night, I started sleeping early hours of this morning. So I'm like, I'm really tired. Like, it was a struggle to wake up, but I had already put my mind on working out this Saturday, regardless of what happened. Because during the week, I didn't really work out as much as I wanted to. I think I worked out just twice this week. So I just want to make, make it three times at least. So, because if I don't go today, I'm definitely not going tomorrow. And usually, I'll go to the gym in the morning. But my membership has expired, so I'm just going to take a walk. And every time I take a walk, I always try to achieve 10,000 steps. Like, if I don't do my 10,000 steps, I'm not coming back home. Like, that's how I do it. I try to make sure I, I take in, like, 10,000 steps. So, I have a route that I follow. And if I go that, that route, like, twice, I know I will achieve like my 10,000 steps so let me just quickly dress up and prepare and leave and I'll probably pick you guys up later bye hi guys so I'm finally done getting ready like I'm really really late usually I'll have left the house like earlier than now so this is what I'm wearing to go and walk out I don't know if it's bright enough the sun has not started shining properly but this is what I'm wearing to go and walk out so I'll see you when I get back. Bye. I'm doing all the whole Saturday shebang. And I'm in the kitchen now. I'm trying to prepare. Um, the plan for today is I want to prepare um, tiger nuts. And I also want to bake today. So I'm going to start the whole preparation now. And I also want to make coconut rice tomorrow being Sunday. So I'm going to start all my preparation for today. So that I'm not stressed up tomorrow after church. So that's what I'm presently working on. So I'll see you guys later. Hi guys. So I'm done um, prepping everything I need for my tiger knot. Now in here I have aya, I have dates, I have coconut, and I have ginger. Now let me just give you guys a very quick secret on how tiger nuts is. Now the thing here is if you want your tiger nuts to be very creamy, like you want your tiger nuts to be really creamy, one thing I'll advise you to put more of is coconut because coconut will give it that very creamy feeling. Now, if you're somebody that you like your tiger nut to be very sweet, then you need to put a lot of dates in your tiger nut. So all of you who are always good at buying all those roadside tiger nuts, all those, in fact, all those on that scam, that is purely sugar. Most of them just put complete sugar in their own. Most of them don't put all these things. And at the end of the day, you can't really blame them because this, these things are really expensive. So that's why me, if I... If I know I don't have money, I don't bother myself doing it. But once I have money, like I go all out. I don't even hold back because it's something that it's it has to be rich. Like if if your tiger nut is not thick, like giving you that milky effect, most people just put so much water. So that is really all the ingredients you really need for tiger nut: your date, your coconut, and I'm putting ginger and then the main ayah. And I'm go also going to be using very little cloves in mind i'm not using all of this now the reason i'm putting these cloves is actually to help in preserving it so that it doesn't go bad very quickly so now i'm on my way to go and grind this um so i'll see you guys when i come back bye
Hi guys, so I'm presently making coconut rice today being Sunday and I just want to show you guys this is the style of the event. This is the coconut milk. So how I came about this was I chopped up my coconut, put it into the blender and I blended it really really well. If it was well smooth enough, a bit soft enough, let me see. Then I filtered it. So this is the milk. This is what I got after saving it. So this is what I'm going to use for the coconut rice. I'm also going to be using very little veggies and I'm using um, dried fish as well. My pepper is on the fire. In fact, today's cooking will not take me so much time. So, see you all later when the food is ready. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I just finished. Oh, I just finished cooking now, and I'm about to have my lunch. So, the plan for today, because this will be probably around past one or so. After I'm done eating, I plan to go and um do. Is it manicure? Be pedicure? You know the one that they scrub under your feet. I plan to go there because jokes apart this is not me this is not me trying to be funny like you can grit okra under my leg right now and it's becoming very embarrassing like i kept saying i was going to go beginning of the year that was january i didn't go i said i was going to go february i didn't go up till now so it has gotten really bad so now i'm forced to go like there's no plan b there's no i'll go next week i must go so once i'm done eating i would i'll leave or if I don't leave, I'll just rest a bit. But I'll try and get there before evening because, like, once it's evening, a lot of people start coming in and because they do other things there, they bab here, there as well. So I don't want to go and wait for a long time before it gets to my turn. So I'll try and go there very early. Speaking of lunch, um, I'm having my lunch with my tiger nuts that I made yesterday. See, uh, let me tell you something. This tiger nuts, I don't even want to come here and brag just because I'm the one that made it. But it is really, really nice. Like I told you people when I was making it, like it's something that I go all out for. It's not something I do every time. But when I plan to do it, I put my best foot forward. Like everything came out right. The coconut, the dates, the ginger, everything was just well balanced. So without wasting much of your time i think i'll stop here eat and leave so i'll speak to you guys later or when i get there bye hi guys so i'm back i was able to go for the pedicure that i initially told you guys i was going for and that pedicure was highly highly needed i don't even know why i waited this long see yeah, procrastination is a bad thing but i'm glad it's out of the way now i can focus on other things and that girl that did that pedicure her reward is on earth and in heaven. Like, she was really, really good. She did a very good job. Anyways, right now, I just want to come and put an end to the vlog. I just want to end this vlog here. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who has liked, who has shared, who has subscribed. Like, there are no words to describe how glad and 
grateful I am. Like there are people who, the moment I drop a video, they, they instantly go and watch. I have people who have liked, people who have shared, people who comment. Trust me, you people don't know how much that means to me, to be very honest, because like you guys don't know, and I really, really appreciate you. And I still want to appreciate those who are still watching and have never liked, commented, shared, you've done nothing. I still thank you as well because there's no pressure. I believe at your own time you will, but it means a lot. Even coming this far to this video to see this Thanksgiving speech, it means a lot to me and I don't take it for granted. Just know that. Like it's so amazing how I have people who will even call me after watching a video and will laugh about things that they saw in the video. I also have people who give me advice like, oh, Irene, I think you should do this. I think you should do this differently. Like, it means a lot to me because it shows that people are actually watching and, you know. And it's all so funny how people have even told me that they want me to do more of, you know, like cooking vlogs. And I'm like, wow, really? But the thing is, I'm like, I try so hard not to make my videos too long. So that's why, like, sometimes I don't really give detailed clips because, I mean, <sighs> doing, like, a very long video with just, I mean, how many people have been watching the short ones that I'm doing? Not to talk of doing long-form videos, but I really appreciate it. That's all I just want to say. And I want to say thank you to everyone who likes, shares, subscribe, and all of that. It means the world to me. So until I see you in my next video... I'm saying bye, stay safe, be good, and God bless us all. Bye.